அமெரிக்கா மூன்றாவது அமெரிக்க ஐக்கிய தேசம் it will weaken in strength and dominance adunudaiya belathilum aalugaiyin adhigara aadhikkathilum belavinam adaiyum it will be like a molting eagle without strength and viga belanatra sattvamatra urugikondirukkum kalugai pola kaanapadum its feathers will be plucked away adunudaiya iragugal ellam pidungi edukkapadum its beak will be broken and cast away adan alagugal udaithu murithu thallapadum even its eyes will be gorged and thrown out yen adan kangalin karuviliyum pidungi erindu viduvargal it will become helpless naadiyattadai kaiyendi nirkum purposeless arthamullavadai fourthly nanthavadaga you love it are you trembling this prophetic message about america is not pretty it's not nice but we need to hear the truth because we have slaughter in the border over 150 million babies in the name of abortion there are some states in america that have legalized late term abortion up to 8 9 months so you can slaughter your baby to call it abortion we have legalized debauchery and perversion in the form of lgbt transgender now when you go do your driver's license in the at the dmv they have they used to have only two gender male or female now some states have six some states have 20 different genders binary and all kinds of foolishness we have legalized this madness and we the few voices that have our sanity and our dignity and our fear the law why have we remained silent and allow a handful of minorities lgbt to really literally bully us and silence our voices and push their agenda over us why have we allowed this to happen the uh, lgbt uh, people they are just a hand for the minorities maybe i'm not even sure if they are one percent of the population of america but for some reason the agenda is everywhere and we claim to be the majority who love god and fear god why are we silent and why have we allowed this to happen on our watch and our shift we better continue to fast and pray and get on our faces get on our knees and repent and ask God for mercy cuz I don't like the sound of this but we're going to have to accept it because we cannot continue to sin willfully and deliberately in this nation individual and corporate and expect God to just wink at us and say it is well with your soul and continue to bless us and meanwhile other nations should suffer persecution for the very same thing then God will have to apologize and repent to Sodom and Gomorrah if he just allow America to slide so let's be very honest So instead of asking God to bless bless let repentance and fasting and praying and repentance if it seems possible for God to turn back his hand of judgment I don't know if it's possible but it would not hurt it, it will not hurt seeking his face and crying out on behalf of the sins of this nation and if our prayer cannot turn back his hand of judgment at least it will be used to protect us and our family members and our cities from the utter destruction and judgment that is coming upon America Lord have mercy Lord Mercy law mercy 